Okay, one more time. Guys are still trying to get this thing going, so. All right, yeah, looks like we got some issues Anywhere. with the fuel. Spot the fuel leak. So you're just bleeding air out. Yeah. And dirty fuel. Yep. Looks like we got some air in the right system, now. in the fuel system. So, and that's not supposed to be that way. Again, the air is the issue. The oil is uh, getting through the engine, so it's it's working. The oil system is doing its thing, but it's the the air in the fuel that's obviously pulling that air from somewhere. Ready? Oh yeah! Oh, oh. Did it just blow? Okay, we're going to try again now. problem with the fuel system okay. so the engine right. runs but yeah, it runs on that, that the ether stuff or whatever just starting fluid yeah it doesn't run on its own so probably getting air right here one more try Okay, so here we have on the bench uh, the fuel pump out of the V55 engine and um, as you've just seen in the previous section of the video, we had some, some starting issues. So that particular engine, we don't know how long ago it was running. Um, so we've come to learn that as you saw during the video, that constant turnover, we had fuel. Uh, we did actually move all the air out of the fuel lines. We still didn't have a start. So. The next point of um, 
adjustment would be to remove the fuel pump out of the engine and see what's going on. So before we go into the issues we found, this is the fuel pump. It's purely all mechanical, um, just a few of the components. So this section here, the spline, that is actually tied into the air start system on that side of the engine. You know, you've seen in videos previously. Moving along, all your fuel uh, points are up here through the top. And then this side of the pump is the accelerator actuating. So the, there's a plunger down the bottom here and a feed arm, which will go under this plate, which we'll go through in a minute. This section is oil filled, uh, filled with oil to assist all the mechanical components in here. It's not part of the engine. It's a separate, just a separate oil sump. Um, and then this side here gets completely, this valley gets filled completely with diesel. So. Uh, going into this right now. <clears throat> so these are all your ports to uh, get your fuel injection. This here is your accelerator linkage arm. So as you can see there, what that's doing is every time you hit the accelerator, you're opening up these fuel ports, which are in demand for more fuel or less fuel. Then it's spring loaded, so when it's kicked all the way back there, uh, the tank is off. So essentially, behind this linkage here, there's an arm, which you can't see, there's an arm that runs on the backside of all these spots, which acts like a lever and actuates them. The issue that we found was that mechanical arm was stuck. It just sat for so long, dry. Um, all we had to do was pull this rear cover plate get some lubrication on there, get some movement through it, and we actually freed up this arm here. So essentially in that last section of the video, all our fuel was clear, we had good fuel. The issue was the tank was just thinking that it was off. So uh, regardless of how much we were turning it over, there was no fuel actually getting pulled out of the, the fuel valley here. But now that we have this freed up, we'll go back out, we'll reinstall this, we'll try it again, and then see how we go from there. That was beautiful. It worked. Yeah. Ah, oh, you guys did it.
Uh, the guy's now adjusted the timing on it, so. Put a ring back on so that way the coupling doesn't fly off. And start okay. 